What's money flow? The key to being in money flow. So today's episode, we're going to talk about what money flow is and what's the key to this. Now, if we go to the dictionary and look at the definition of the word flow, it says a steady, continuous stream of something. In this case, the something is money. What is money? It's a way of exchange, right? It's a way, it's a medium of exchange. Now, if we look at a river, A river water flows, right? Water flows and flow, again, going to the definition, is a steady, continuous stream of something. In the case of a river, it's the stream of water. Now, in our lives, in as a human being in this world, we all have access to being in money flow, in being in the steady continuous stream of money being able to have and access the resources that we need truly that we truly desire need to fulfill our vision and passion and purpose in the world now a steady continuous stream of money in a river sometimes the stream isn't continuous is that correct sometimes the stream gets stuck sometimes the stream gets blocked Sometimes the water gets built up in a certain area of the river and we have no idea what's going on there, right? And usually what happens in the case of the river, logs come in, right? There's logs, there's rocks, there's things in the river that block the flow of this continuous stream. Like with us, the same thing happens. Again, our natural state is to be in money flow, is to be in this continuous stream of money, of resources that are, that is already ours it's our birthright it's ours it's ours it's our and when we were kids we knew this right only when we started growing up we we started accumulating lots of rocks and logs in our journey in our river right so let's go back to the example of the water and the river the river is full of rocks the river is full of logs now these rocks and logs need to be removed right for the flow of water to continue same with us in order for us to experience and be in flow every single day every single moment of our lives we got to release those rocks and logs and whatever garbage you know might have been on the way and this is very interesting because when i when i got into this concept like when i started my business i was really interested one of the main reasons actually i started my business one of the main you could say my main motivation was the financial piece of it, right? Because uh, working for someone else, I realized that, wow, in order to really do what I want, when I want, with whoever I want, I need to be able to have the money to do that, right? And not feel like I need to ask someone permission, ask someone for money, but really able to do what I want, right? If I want to go to a trip, to be able to do that. And in that, in that desire of, of creating that financial freedom and independence for myself, I really was wondering why some people are not in flow why are some people like a blocked with money like struggling with money and some people in flow like some people are born in flow what does that mean like they're born with in a like a, like a silver spoon they always have money they never worry some people never even work so i started realizing this i started even researching and i even start interviewing people and women especially from all over the world to find out why were some people in flow especially with money in this case and why was some people why, why were some people not in flow like what was the difference like why and and i really found this difference to be very unfair like i remember getting really really angry and mad at the beginning like why was this person making more money when the other person wasn't making more money and she was working harder like why why that discrepancy why is like why isn't everybody in the steady continuous stream of money why not everybody especially if we go to scripture if we go to the spiritual books right i'm a big believe i'm a i'm a big spiritual person right i i'm not religious per se but i love spirituality i love you know of course in miracles i love reading the bible i love reading um uh, you know like spiritual texts of marianne williams like all these spiritual stuff right Bhagavad Gita, i love and all interestingly enough but i guess not a coincidence all of them talk about how we are one and how we, you know, all of us have the right to be in the flow. All of us have the right as a child of the God, of God, universe, Krishna, Jesus, whatever you want to call it, right? I'm not going to put names to any of that right now. 
and and again if that were true and i remember getting really 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 mad in the beginning of my business like just noticing the discrepancy and being aware of it because growing up I don't know, when I was growing up, like I really wasn't aware of it, like until I felt it and I was like, whoa, okay, why is she able to do this and have more money than, like, obviously the more I became, the more older I became, right? The more aware I started becoming of this. And in the process of becoming aware, especially in my business, a lot of anger was there, a lot of frustration as to why was this person making more money and this person no. And I really found it really unfair. Again, going back to spiritual text, going back to scripture, all this stuff, we're, we're saying that, you know, we all have access to this. And we all, not only do we have access to this, but we all have the right to this. And it was like something inside there where it was just not clashing with me. It was not aligning with me. It was actually creating a lot of disalignment in myself, in my being, and a lot of resistance. And in this process of finding out, I noticed that many of us, we've, we've again created these rocks in the river of our flow. You know, these rocks and how, what are, what are these rocks or these logs, right? These are the fears that we may have. These are the traumas that we might have gone through in our life around money or anything else in our life. Like, it's amazing how every single thing in our life, like, it makes us or breaks us or keeps us. It's amazing. It's, that's like, a, that's a whole different topic for another episode. But it's just so powerful. And not only that, like, some of these rocks, these logs are limiting fears, right? Limiting beliefs, limiting thoughts, right? Emotions, stuck emotions, stuck negative emotions that are not letting this flow to come forward. And doing the study and doing the research, interviewing people, you know, who were in money flow from all over the world, I noticed that they were really into working that. They were really into making sure there was no rocks and no logs in their river, right? They were doing the work to eliminate these fears, emotions, limiting beliefs and limiting thoughts. They were consistently working on that. Many people that I interviewed were were sharing how in the beginning of their journey, they did a lot of work to really release that. Some, there was a this woman who I spoke to who told me that for, before she started her business for three years straight, think about this, three years straight she was working this, she was working her fears, she was doing a lot of clearing work, she was doing a lot of like declaring work energetically and in her mindset and she's really, and she told me that this woman is someone making seven figures. This woman said, this is one of the reasons if it wouldn't have been for those three foundational years in my business, I would not be making the money I, I'm making today and not I would not be able to be in the flow that I am in today. And that was really powerful me, for me because it was not only this woman who, who shared this with me, right? But it was so many people who, were, who I was noticing the same thing. And if you're anything like me, like I like proof, you know? Like for me, it's like I'm all woo-woo. I like being woo-woo, but I like the woo-woo to be... Because I, I don't know, like it's nice to believe in woo-woo stuff, like, you know, kind of like very woo-woo. But it's nice to be grounded as well, right? At the end of the day, we do live in a world where we need to be grounded, right? And I like, I like to understand why. Because when I understand why, at least for me in my case, when I understand why I do my research, my interviews, all of that type of stuff, it, it, the, the belief can really ground in me versus just believing in something with no, no concept behind of it, right? So I'm a big believer. Like even when I'm doing my own mindset work and I'm working my, my energy, it's really important for me, when, especially when I'm creating a new vision for myself, for my business, for my life, for my relationship relationships it's really important that i really have that back background right that 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 thing there to hold it and again that's what i realized I'm like wow and i did a lot of research to people i actually also interviewed people who were not in money flow right who were struggling with, with, with money who always felt they did not have enough who always felt that the end of the month came and they were like they like stuck I noticed that they were not doing this work. They were not shifting their energy. They were not moving these rocks and logs from their river. And it was interesting because I started my business become being a life coach. And it's amazing how life takes you away that, you know, like it's just amazing because today I am not a life coach only. I'm actually a business coach and part of the work I do as a business coach with women is to help them with their money flow, right? We're helping them be in the state of steady, continuous stream of money. And, and when I became a business coach, because I wasn't a business coach, actually, if you'd have told me I was going to be a business coach or do money work, which I would have laughed on your face out of being like, no way ever. But life has sometimes like crazy plans for you, right? Let's just say crazy. And when, when I was a life coach, I had a lot of people telling me, 
teach me how to build a business, teach me how to build a business. Cause I was, I was building, like I had a successful life coaching business. I was like, okay, I can teach you what I've learned and what's working for me. And that's what I did. I focused on teaching people what was working for me. And when doing so, um, I was teaching strategy. I was just teaching what I was doing, not was not what I was thinking or the work that I had done years as well in my own energy and mindset, right? I didn't even, I didn't think that was as important. And my clients weren't getting results. And I don't know about you, but no coach wants to know that their clients are not getting results. So I was like, okay, this cannot continue. Like business cannot continue. I need to figure out what's going on. Why are not my clients getting results? And I noticed that my clients were not doing this work. They were not working their mindset. They were not doing the clearing work. They were not releasing these rocks, um, these logs from their river. So the strategy, the, the doing of the business worked for them, right? So that's what I did with them. I started focusing um, the work on really helping them do that, on helping them clear their energy and helping them clear their mindset, clearing their river from these rocks. Again, these limiting beliefs, limiting thoughts, these traumas, emotions, all of it, fears from their river. And, ama- and it's, it was so amazing to see what happened. My clients started experiencing more flow. My clients started experiencing steady, continuous stream of something. And many of my clients um, start sharing, obviously, what was happening in their life, in their business. And I was amazed to see how by doing this work and focusing on this, how they were getting better results and getting results, right? And that obviously made me happy because I was like, okay, this is awesome. This is working. I need to share this with more people, right? And this is the whole idea as well with, with this episode of this podcast to bring these secrets into your awareness, right? Because if I can do that via this method for you, like that is the goal, that is the intention. And that's what's, that is what I realized is the key. The key in being in money flow consistently is to contin- con- consistently and continuously clear the river, clear the rocks and clear the logs from your river. So the money the water can flow because if you do that and you continuously do that, and there's a reason I really believe that you got to be continuous in your clearing because when you are continuous in your clearing, it's like, you know, a place that gets dirty naturally, like a room. If you leave a room or a home, an apartment, like no one there, like it starts getting muddy, like dirt starts coming in, it starts getting like muddy, right? Like not muddy per se, but like dirty filthy, right? You le- you lock up a house, an apartment, and after two, three years, like it's dirty inside. The same with our river of money. The same with our river. The rocks will come in. The logs will come in. If we are not constantly clearing that, it's going to keep on coming in. And it's key. It's super key. Like, cause even though you do your clearing work once, I tell all my clients, like it's, it's, a, it's something we got to keep on doing consistently because we unfortunately live in a world in a society in a culture where we're being bombarded with rocks you know where we're we're being bombarded where we're where we are being programmed with limiting thoughts beliefs unworthiness issues fears every single day and that's that's a whole different story we can go we can talk about that in, in, in another episode but that is the key to do your clearing work consistently to clear your river from these rocks and locks so you can be in the steady continuous stream of money because here's the thing you can be in the stream and you can be in it consistently continuously and steadily and if you for some reason are not experiencing this right now like continue listening to this podcast continue implementing the secrets that i'm sharing with you during this Because when you start doing this, when you start implementing this, you will start experiencing the power of this. You know, the other day I was talking, we did this clearing because part of the work I do as a business coach is not only do I teach business, but I, we do clearing work because at the end of the day, I want you to get results, right? At the end of the day, I will not be in business if I can't help my clients get results. That's super important for me. And we did this group clearing that I do um, with my clients and in this clearing, we like, I usually test the energy to see what's going on again, testing the river to find the blocks. Cause sometimes we have no idea what the rocks are and what the, what the logs are that we are carrying in our system. Right? So we started doing this work. We started clearing and one woman was sharing how, you know, she had this ex who like, she, she was sharing, like she, like she, she had actually like 
had broken the engagement with this person. And she was sharing with me how, you know, she did the work on it and she's okay, but then for some reason she couldn't make money. Like she was making sales, but she couldn't make money. And in the clearing work, we realized that, realized that she still had a rock there, right? The rock was the resentment she was still carrying and the anger she was carrying with this ex-partner of hers. And when we did the clearing work to release it, it was amazing to see what started happening and shifting in her life. Suddenly ideas came in. You know, opportunities came in, people came in that led her to making more money. And here's a beautiful piece of this. You know, I had this mindset before that I had to work really, really, really hard to make a lot of money. But here's the thing. We all are in the right of the steady, continuous stream of money. We all are in the right. We don't need to work hard or long hours. That's really in the mind. We got to clear that rock because that itself, that limiting belief is actually a rock, right? We got to create value because money is value. Money is energy at the end of the day. And if you want to uh, call in energy. It's like you want to be on purpose. That's the beauty of this. Because when we are living on purpose, when we are living in in our in our place, when we are fulfilling our calling, we our natural state is to be in the state of of flow of money's flow as well. Right? I like to call it the money flow state, right? And that's my mission. My mission is to is to shift that from struggle energy from a struggle state, from an overwhelmed state, from an unconscious state to a money flow state, to a flow state, because that is possible. So that is what money flow is. And the key, again, of being in money flow is to continuously work your energy, to continuously do the clearing work so you can be in the state always and forever. Okay. So hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I will see you on the next one. Bye.